All right, let's look at how to integrate simple goods with MySQL via Zapier. So first, simple goods provides an interface for sellers to sell anything directly to their audience without a shopping cart. They just launched a public webhook so we can use Zapier to post data to various applications and web services. Upon a successful sale, the webhook is fired, which sends a JSON payload with the following data. So we have reference ID, refer, price, buyer email, and so forth. And with Zapier, we can use this data as a trigger. From there, we can do a number of actions. In this particular example, I'll be posting the data to my MySQL database to create a new row within a specific table. So to set this up, you want to click Dashboard and then create a new zap. So on the trigger side, I'm going to select webhook. We want to catch the hook. And then on the action side, we're going to take the data from the payload and post it to a new record in a MySQL database table. Click Continue. So now go ahead and copy this webhook. And then in your Simple Goods account, you want to click Settings, Integrations. And then all you do is just paste in this URL. And click Save Changes. And then back on Zapier, you want to set up your MySQL connection. And you can see the fields that are needed here. You need your host, database name, username, and password. So I've already set up my database, so I'm just going to go ahead and select it. And then to be certain it works, I'm just going to go ahead and test this account. And the count is working, as you can tell. Click Continue. Then click Continue again. Go ahead and select the table that you want to post the data to. And again, I've already set up this table. So let me back up a little bit. And this is the, the schema of my database table here. And you can see how the keys from the payload over here match up to the fields on my table. So I have buyer email, buyer email, price, price, and so forth. Now let me load up my terminal. So let me go ahead and show you the data that I have in my table. You can see that I already have two rows that were created earlier today as I was testing this out. So to finish up the integration, we need to get some sample data to work with. And the best way to do that is just to set up a dummy product on Simple Goods, which I have done here. Just go ahead and refresh this. Go ahead and purchase the product. Just put in my email address, Michael at realpython.com. Go ahead and purchase it. And this will go ahead and send the JSON payload to Zapier. So if I go back to Zapier, I can now map the keys to the database fields. So if I click this button here, you can see that the data from the payload was sent. So I can do buyer email, price, product name, purchase date, and then finally the total. I'm going to go ahead and click continue, continue again, and then I'll make the zap live. 
and you can see that the Zab is right here. So to test it out to ensure that it's working, just go ahead and make another purchase. Go ahead and refresh this. Let's enter my email address again. Click purchase. I'm going to pop open my terminal again. I'll just go ahead and do this again. And you can see the new row here with the email address and the product name, purchase date, etc. Sweet. All right, so keep in mind that this is just one integration. Zapier has literally hundreds of services in its directory that you can integrate simple goods with. All right, so if you have any questions, please comment below. And thanks for watching.